Hello, my name is Giuseppe Conti. I am the founder of Conti Advanced Business Learning, a company that specializes in negotiation and influencing. I'm talking to you from the University of Oxford, Said Business School, and uh, being in such an inspiring research place, I want to cover with you today a topic, the topic of uh, game theory and negotiation. It's quite noisy outside, let's move inside. We are back. The topic of today, game theory and negotiation. Let's start by defining what is a game theory. It is a mathematical theory of interactive decision making. It models conflicts and cooperation in different contexts and looks at how parties interact and choose their action in view of what the other party may think or do. It sounds quite complex. Let's make uh, a real-life application. Imagine you're on vacation. You are in Istanbul and you go to the Grand Bazaar to buy a carpet. You're interactive with uh, a carpet dealer and he asks you the question, which one of those two carpets you prefer? Are you going to say the truth and indicate the carpet that you prefer? Or are you going to bluff and indicate the other one because you fear that he may increase the price on the other carpet and then maybe change your mind at a later stage. How about if the salesman understands that you're bluffing and then he's going to change his approach? And how about if you think that he understands that you're bluffing? So, you know, you can see that the complexity may get bigger and bigger especially if you get multiple parties into the interaction. The most simple model of game theory is the prisoner's dilemma, where there are only two parties. A business application, for instance, of the prisoner's dilemma is the one about price competition. Imagine that there are two companies that have a similar market share and similar prices in the market. Then there is a temptation for both of the companies to lower their price so that they can gain market share. Now, this tactic works if indeed they are the only one lowering their price. On the other side, if the competitors also lower their price, then they're not going to gain any market share and both parties will end up being worse off because they're now selling at lower prices. This is a model the prisoner's dilemma which applies to interaction between two parties. Game theory also looks at multiple parties' interaction. Let me give you a business application in a sales buyer's context. Imagine that you are a buyer and in your category there is not much competition between the different salespeople. What game theory recommends us in those type of situation is not to go for one-to-one -one negotiation because they are unlikely to drive results. The most effective is then to go for parallel interaction when people can get immediate an opportunity to win business or they may go through the risk of losing business. Then what most buyers will do is create an e-auction so that there is this parallel and immediate effect. One last tip. If you do the auction, make sure that you bid the more attractive package at the beginning of the process. Because if the different salesmen want to win this package, then they are more likely to compete heavily in the first round of the auction and this will create competition also for the following rounds. Of course, game theory is a complex topic, it's difficult to explain it in just a few minutes. For more information on negotiation and influencing, check our website www.cabl.ch. Thank you very much.